Let's check out what Hello. Chef Mark's making this morning in the Beko kitchen and you're joined by a friend. Yes, we've got Hamish in the kitchen, back again, he was allowed back. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we've got uh, we've got pork on the menu today, haven't we? Because that's one of your favourite ingredients. I do, I, I love pork and um, I'm quite poor at cooking it, so uh, you're going to give me a nice little masterclass and make something yummy. Well, exactly, I'm going to show you how to do a great winter dish, so it's going to be a winter warmer. We've got pork, we've got a nice rich creamy mushroom Yum. and mustard sauce, so mustard and pork cook really well. It's really easy we're going to do it all in one pan and then we're going to make a, little, a nice beautiful mashed potato with a secret ingredient if you can guess what that is a little bit later on in the show oh, <laughs> Ford begins with that. b <laughs> <laughs> can't Back believe you guys. Hamish in the kitchen though anything could happen and thanks for tuning in this morning and you're in for a treat as Mark's <laughs> kindly decided to make your favorite recipe Hamish you've been let back in the kitchen I know it's been a long time coming um sweet master and commander Glenn finally said that I could have a turn back here uh lately I've been uh, really enjoying cooking not yes. something I used to do a lot of and uh I've followed Mark obviously so I've been cooking a lot of chicken and beef yep. the safe options for Hamish Always want to try something different. Pork, so I've asked Mark to teach me how to cook something that I love to eat but don't know how to cook. Right, we thought you'd actually done this recipe before, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like my little living cookbook list. No, this is good. So we're going to mark a fight. We're going to chef a yep. fight here in the Beko kitchen. Um, this will be exciting then. So I just get to sit back, <laughs> relax and do nothing and you Pretty can much, do all the yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, we, so, so it's a really easy recipe. So it's with pork. It's got all the classic flavours. You know, you've got mushrooms in there, cream sauce, lots of mustard, a bit of white wine as well for extra flavour. And then we're going to do a mash, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So pork, so a few different cuts, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to use, you know, in this recipe, so you can use a, a pork chop if you want, you know, that's really good. Cook it on the bone, keeps it moist as well. Uh, pork fillet, which is the most expensive part of the pork, um, but really, really lean, so you've just got to cook it really well. Well, any pork you've got to cook really well. Um, I'm going to tell you how to do that a bit later. Or we've got the uh, scotches here. So they, these, look, they look great, by the mm. way. Yeah, so these are great. So, so this is like a product. So same as a, um, a beef uh, scotch. Yep. You know, obviously a little bit smaller. Uh, you've got them already cut into nice steaks. You've got a little bit of fat around the outside, which is good. You know, that's going to give us some flavour. And you've got this fat in the centre. So it is quite a fatty piece of meat. You know, but that is going to keep it nice and moist when we cook it and give us lots of extra flavour. Nice. And, and why, Hamish, have you shied away from using pork in your cooking well, I, experience? I'd never, I'd never cooked with it before. And, um, well, to be fair, I had a little turn a few weeks ago. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And, and, <laughs> now, I'm, and now I'm here. Right. <laughs> no, because my pork usually goes dry because yes. it's, it's such a fine line, isn't it, to get pork right? It is. It's, 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 you know, it's a very lean meat. It cooks really quick. And if you overcook it, it just goes really tight and really dry. Mm. So, it's, you know, so you've got to be really careful. Right, okay, okay. so it's, it's very well. unforgiving. So we've got a big pan here, so we're going to make everything in the pan. We've got our steaks, give them a really good season, really hot pan, and what we want to do, we want to pop them in, get that sizzle in there, and we want to seal it in. So we're not looking to cook the pork all the way through now, okay. but we want a nice caramelisation on both sides, maybe around the pan as well, in the oil. Okay, great. And then, uh, and then we're going to build the sauce up in that, so all the flavours which we get from the pan from the pork is going to go into our sauce for extra flavour. How do you know when to turn it? Well, it's going to take, uh, you know, depending on how hot your pan is, you're going to take sort of one to two minutes on each side. But, I'm, you know, you can see now I'm not I'm not flicking the pan or taking it off the heat. You know, time you don't need Mike. to time it, Mike. Yeah, no, yeah, time I'm, it. I'm timing it. <laughs> you know, so, so if we have a quick look now, we'll probably minimal colour, you know, or it's just starting to come, but we want to, we want to go really dark. So the more colour, without being burnt, is more flavour. The better. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. And then we can build it up, and then because they're quite thick, the steaks as well, we're going to seal them off on the side. And, you know, if we do this over sort of five to six minutes and we do it properly, it's probably half cooked the pork. But we're going to make the sauce and we're going to return it back to the sauce to finish it off. Brilliant. Right, mashed potato here. So I've just got some uh, potatoes, so just some agri potatoes. Wash them, peel them, chop them. And if you notice in here, everything's sort of chopped the same sort of size, so it cooks evenly. There's consistency, a Hamish, yeah, consistency. I'm, I'm yes. getting there. We've got a little bit of salt in there just to help flavour the uh, potatoes. Also got a little bit of kuma in there as well. A little purple kuma, just to give it something different. You know, if you've got one lying around, it's a great way to use it up. And a clove of garlic as well, extra flavour. So we're just going to cook them to soft, drain them, and then we'll make a mash a little bit later. Brilliant. I'll just flip these, we'll have a look. Hey, just check. Do, you, do you love cooking though, now that you've... You I know? do love cooking. Yeah. It, yeah, until you've really got into it and had a go. I think you're missing out on something. All right, well, next time you make something, you want to see it on our Facebook page. And same for you at home, OK? You make something that we've shown you here, put it on our Facebook page, because this is a lot of fun. We're going to get this pork just perfect. We'll come back very soon and get the rest of the recipe straight after we catch up with Holly. 
we are creating Hamish's favourite pork dish. Well, it's a dish that he wants to attempt, but he needed Mark <laughs> services to make sure he gets it right, because cooking with pork is quite hard. Well, this is already, to be fair, looking better than my last attempt. Um, Smells good. <laughs> uh, Mark, can you eat one medium rare? Is that how you like, you know, a steak? I like well, a steak. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well I think this is like the big that? problem, you know, with pork, because people... You, you know, you treat it like a, a steak and then you go, well, can you eat it medium rare? And you don't really want to eat it medium rare, but you do want to eat it with, like, say, a blush of pink. So sort of medium rested going a little bit further. You know, a slight blush of pink, um, and that'll keep it nice and moist. Okay, you know? great. But I think people are scared, so they, you know, they, they cook it more. Okay, great. And you let the pan cool down before the butter, right? Yeah, so, so we've got a nice hot pan, so we've got a nice seal just in oil. So I'm going to take these out now. Yes. Because that's where at the stage where we want to want to go. It's still going to be like, it's probably medium rare now, so it's still a bit under, we're, we're going to finish that off in the sauce. Let the pan cool down slightly. You know, you've got all those juices in there and the, and the oil in there, that's fine. Yep. So just melt some butter in there, and you can see the butter's melting. It's not going to explode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm just making room for you, Matt. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> So the butter's melting, it's bubbling, but it's not burning, okay? We don't right. want the butter to burn. And we're just going to cook this over a medium heat. So onions and garlic goes in there. And just, you know, just toss that around for sort of a minute or so. Stir it, okay, Mike. Cool. Stir it. And we just want to sweat that down. So no colour, but we're just getting all those juices into the onions and flavours into the onions and softening them and bringing out some um, sweetness of the onions. I tend to find this time of the year too, people actually do have a bit more time to, you know, cook meals in the evening because you're not going out as much because it's so bottom and cold at the moment, isn't it? Can I just say <laughs> I, ha I hate onions? Oh. <laughs> but I'm going to love them today. You are going to love them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so you, you've sweated it down, and what we're going to do now is deglaze it with some uh, white wine. Do you know what, what that means? No, I don't. I was going to ask, what is deglazing? Right, so basically deglazing, and you, you see it in a recipe, it's after you've fried something or you've got some sediment in a pan or a tray or a roasting tray or, or however you do it, and you just deglaze it, mostly with wine, or you can use a bit of water or stock, and it, as you see there, it goes in, comes up to the boil straight away, and it just loosens everything on the pan and you can sort of mix in and that's just getting all, all those flavours. flavours. So it's loosening yeah. everything off the bottom of the pan. Yeah, off the bottom right. of the pan and it's just, you know, it's putting all those flavours back into your sauce. Right, a little bit of chicken stock goes in there now. The so, onion's looking good. Oh, it's until you try it, it's going to be amazing. You're not allergic, are you? No, not no. allergic. Oh, well, that's good, you can it's eat just it. Fussy. Yeah, <laughs> just fussy. <laughs> and what we want to do now, so we've got the stock in there and we want to reduce the stock by about half, you know, okay. so all those flavours sort of concentrate this time, we've got a little bit of Dijon mustard. Yum. So that's going to give us a nice sort of undertone of mustard flavour. And then a little bit of whole grain mustard in there, which goes in. And that yep. gives us a bit of texture and sort of enhances the mustard flavour. Well, that's going to be nice on the pork, isn't it? You know, and then and, and you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's done all in one pan. You know, that's probably even enough sauce for like two people. You know, if you're doing more, obviously you've got more uh, ingredients. It's going to take longer to reduce down. But it is pretty fast. What temperature are you on, roughly? Yeah, Long. I mean, yeah, you can turn it up now. So we want oh, okay. to do this as fast as we can. You know, we've got the pork here. We want to carry on that momentum so, you know, to the end of the recipe. So as that's reducing down, and then we've got some sour cream. You know, you could use just normal cream if you want. Sour cream, you could probably use a bit of yogurt if you want to keep it a little bit healthier. You know, so stir the cream in, and then just bring it down to a sauce consistency. So that's just, um, you know what that means? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I'm here. No, 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 it's good. So, so get the back of your spoon, pop it in, and then just run your finger through. So when it holds, and it's sort right, of it doesn't thickness, move back yeah, in. It's got that thickness of um, holding, so you can see the streak, that yep. sort of source consistency. Oh, okay, cool. You're so learning a lot, aren't yeah, you? So we're not far yeah, off, good. and then all we do, pop the pork back oh. in, and you just want to cook it a little <laughs> bit longer. It will rewarm the pork, the sauce will be down, and that is good to go. We'll finish it with some chives, and then a few minutes out, sort of really nice butter mushrooms, like really white ones. And um, firm ones, and they're just going to warm up, and they're only going to take sort of like a minute and a half, mm. two minutes max, you know, in that sort of bubbling sauce. And that is all going to come together, and it's going to be yummy. Mine just and never looks like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you it follow this now. recipe, that's <laughs> right. Um, great to have you in the Beko kitchen. It's so much fun. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm pleased to be back. You've asked some great questions a lot of people are thinking about at home. And of course, if you missed any of this, you can catch it on our website, follow the recipe, and it'll turn out just like this, I promise. Speaking of hungry, this looks fantastic. <laughs> looks great, doesn't it? Yes, this is Hamish's new favourite dish now, mm. isn't it? It is. I whipped that up quickly for you, Mark. I like the special <laughs> amount of green on the top there. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got Indian on the menu. We've got uh, tandoori chicken with a potato and sesame salad. <laughs>